Lala Lajpat Rai was one of India's most celebrated freedom fighters. He was part of the famous radical trio Lal Bal Pal, who advocated the Swadeshi movement in India, involving the boycott of all imported imported goods and the use of Indian-made goods. He was a prolific writer, leader, politician, and activist. Lala Lajpat Rai died from a heart attack after not recovering from injuries received during a police lati charge while protesting the arrival of Simon Commission. On the occasion of the 155th birth anniversary of Lala Lajpat Rai, we look back upon the struggles faced by him and all that he accomplished in his life. Lala Lajpat Rai was born on 28th January 1865 in Dudike, Punjab to a Jain family. His parents were Munshi Radha Krishan Agrawal and Gulab Devi Agarwal. His father was a government school teacher at Urdu and Persian school. He did his primary schooling in Ravari, Punjab. Rai's liberal views and Hindu beliefs were shaped by his father and deeply religious mother respectively, which he then used to reform Indian policy and religion through politics and journalistic writing. In 1886, Lala Rajpat Rai moved to practice law in Hisar, where he became a founding member of the Bar Council of Hisar along with Babu Churamani. In the same year, he helped Mahatma Hans Raj establish the nationalistic Dhyanandan Anglo Vedic school, Lahore, which was converted to Islamia College, Lahore, after the partition in 1947. Soon, he joined ranks with Bipin Chandrapal and Aurobindo Ghosh from Bengal and Bal Gangadhar Tilak from Maharashtra to call for Purna Swaraj. In 1970, Lala Rajpat Rai moved to the United States during the First World War and founded the Indian Home Rule League of America in New York. He stayed in the United States from 1917 to 1920. Lala Rajpat Rai returned to India in 1920 and in the following year led the special session of the Indian Congress Party that launched the non-cooperation movement. He was imprisoned from 1921 to 1923 and elected to the Legislative Assembly on his release. In 1928, the Simon Commission was set up to India to report the political situation in India. The commission was met with nationwide protest and unrest since it did not include a single Indian in its membership. In the same year, Rai introduced the Legislative Assembly Resolution for the boycott of the British Simon Commission and led a non-violent march in protest against it. The protester chanted Simon go back and carried black flags. It was during this protest that the police lati charged occurred against the protesters. During that police lati charge, he got hurt and was killed. Thank you.